study all different kinds of things about cities. And basically, this image that you see before you is an image that many of us know, but from many different countries around the world, it could be almost anywhere at this point, which is cities still being designed on old models that are private car centric and that are single use zoning. So, knowing that that's the case, and knowing well, you can kind of see that this is an incredibly dense urban, uh, urban environment and that we have extreme urbanization coming for us in the next 20 years at a rate of 60% uh, of the population. And the problems that are, that are already starting to rise, this is uh, obviously a very fuzzy image of, of smog and congestion of the city. So inside of the group, what we try to do is make sense of, make sense and represent of a bunch of differentiated systems. So I'll go through just very quickly on the projects uh, that we're actively working on. One is the city car, um, which is looking at uh, urban mobility networks and agile, agile, lightweight electric infrastructure uh, for, for transportation. So one of the projects that was developed uh, over the last eight years was this city car, and essentially the goal was to say, okay, in cities of the future, how would we have shared use vehicles that take up less space and use less energy? So you can see this city car basically folds in half and has four robotic wheels. Um, from that, we're also looking at autonomous driving systems. So what you can probably hardly see is a man jumping around and the car's eyes following. Essentially, this is how cars are going to see other cars and cars see people, um, recognize differences and, and, and transport uh, goods or people autonomously. So this is just an example of one project from our group that's gone from ideation to uh, the build form and to commercialization, uh, which is uh, part, of, uh, part of our bullet at uh, City Science. So the next project is City Home. We look at micro-environments and how to make them uh, more usable and more responsive to a user's needs. So how could you live uh, in three to 400 square feet comfortably and in transition throughout the day when you want to have a, a dinner party that a, a, a table for 20 can be extended uh, robotic, uh, robotically and autonomously. When you want to have a dance party, your whole apartment can clear out. That way you're not needing to have you know five different uh, rooms for five different events. 